Hi, welcome to my video tutorial on how to create a heat map in Microsoft Excel. To start with, let's assume that we have a series of numbers represented in a table as such in rows and columns. Now the goal is to identify differences between the cells. And these cells can represent anything. They can be physical locations, uh, pixels on a web page. Um, each cell could represent the likelihood that a particular demographic is going to purchase a product or their risk tolerance. And we want to see how different demographics or locations um, change as we change those values. So looking at this table, it's very hard to do that because the numbers kind of blend together and it's hard to identify any, any pattern or anything that stands out. But heat maps are really good for the situation. So to start with, we're just going to highlight all the cells that we're going to create a heat map over. We're going to click on conditional format, go down to new rule, and this one is going to pop up. Now, just go down here to this minimum and maximum uh, drop down boxes. And we see that we have a couple of options for the minimum values. And I'm just going to click on lowest value. This is going to just make the lowest value <coughs> uh, my lower bound and highest value in a maximum as the highest value in any of these cells is my maximum bound, my upper bound. And let's just choose the color scheme we're going to use. I'm going to want my lower values to be a yellow. And as they get higher and closer to my maximum, I want them to be red. So I click that. I click on OK. And there's my heat map. And as you can see, it's much easier to identify patterns and differences between the cells now.